All right, time now for better food. The holiday season is coming up soon. That might mean more baking for you. Maria Sanchez Definitely. of Sweet Maria's is here. <laughs> she can, of course, bake for you, but she's here mm -hmm. with a delicious and fun gluten-free recipe to try. Yeah. Even if you're not the best baker, this is something you said Super people are going to disappear. And it's gluten-free, mm -hmm. so it's nice to offer that alternative to Definitely. a guest. Definitely. Definitely. I feel like it's nice. It's an alternative to the pumpkin we're going to have in a couple of weeks. You could always bring this along to a Thanksgiving dinner, too. It's cranberry. It's raspberry. It's fresh and tart without having something that's spicy all the time. Yeah, okay. So it's nice. yeah, it looks delicious. People I who are gluten free too hate to, hate to say, like, be specific about it. So if you bring something along, if you're gluten free, or just think of those people that might be at a gathering too, it's a nice now, alternative. Now, Marie, so. we need to remind people gluten free doesn't mean calorie free. Right? No, it no, does it's not. Still, it still it's has the not. calories it in not, it. Yeah. But this is this pretty is, wholesome. It is, it is. It's just oats, rolled oats, um, about a cup or so of sugar, and then it's got almond flour in it. So it's, we flour. don't even need to use a mixer for this. We're just going to use a processor. Oh, so that means you're going to have, these are going to fill you up a little, and they're going to stay with you. The almond's going to have protein, right? Yeah, definitely. Almonds. So a little bit of almonds, almond flour, and our oats. So it's going to get kind of crumbly, and then we're going to add some unsalted butter. That was so Always weird. unsalted yeah. butter. Always so. unsalted butter. Yeah, when you Cold bake, it's just, uh, no, softened is better, softened, actually, for this. Okay. And some salt and some baking soda. So no no big mystery there. And just going to let it come together. It's going to be kind of crumbly at this point. So super easy. And here's the recipe right here on the screen for you. Yeah, so once so we, people can see it. In the meantime, Scott, I know that you want to line our pan with some parchment paper sure, there. It's absolutely. just an eight inch cake pan we're gonna use. Okay. What we're gonna do right now is just take out some of the crumble. And we're gonna save this for our topping. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yep. oh, so if gonna... you're making like a, maybe you can make a little extra, but this is a, a good crumble if you wanna make like a berry crisp or something um, like you that. You could, but we're gonna use it just for the topping. So we're gonna add an egg to the rest of this mixture just because it, it really does make it a little more, um, Substantial on the bottom, not just so crummy egg. on the bottom. Just an egg, so it comes together, just like a, just like a cookie dough. So that's wow. super yeah, duper easy. Soaked all. Yeah, that, the thing huh? with gluten free and some um, almond flour too, it has more moisture to it. So this is just going to be really super easy to come together. So I know we're just going to press this into our cake pan, and it's basically just you know eight inch cake pan, eight by eight. You want to give that a whirl, Scott? Sure. I like to get your hands dirty. So it's just going to go into the parchment lined pan evenly. And then we're going to use raspberries and cranberries. We can certainly use any other fruit that you it's want to so do. It's so pretty for the holidays. It's got the red. It's like little ornaments. Yeah, yeah, that's really great. It could be Christmas, too. It's just kind of the Olympics of baking. I feel like we're starting off with Thanksgiving with the baking, and then Here we're we going to go. go right exactly through right. you know, to the next. So these they are just like so beautiful. They would you could use, well. Um, you probably could. You could actually use frozen fruit with these, too, are if you don't uh, want to get the fresh. Are your Thanksgiving coming in already? Not yet. People are always last minute. But, when when um, they typically? We're ready. Two weeks before? Yeah, usually a few days before. Right. <laughs> Can I but, get 20 pumpkin pies whatever, tomorrow? Whatever, whatever works, are you, you know, for in, people. Uh, Just cranberries. Cranberries, they could be fresh or they could be frozen. It could be. And then we're going to go back to our crumble. We're going to add in a little extra almond just for the crumb topping. I'm just thinking these are like fun too. A lot of times people do baking so for teacher gifts. These totally. would be really pretty. Yeah, and totally. It looks festive without being too crazy. And then we're just going to kind of lightly press that topping in. And we're going to bake them at 375 so they get super golden brown. Okay. It's like this here, probably about 30 minutes or so. So, and that's that's all it is. It comes do you together have nice. to, like, how do you make sure it gets golden brown on top? Do you have to soak it again with spray? No, or? it's just going to do it all on its own. The butter in it is going to golden and so is the sugar. So it's going to caramelize. It will, okay. Yeah. Sometimes and then I know people get hung up on the time too of baking. I feel like um, even though we say a suggested time, it really depends how it looks. You so know. just look, when it's golden brown, brown it's look. I always set the timer for less. When it's golden brown and almonds get nice and toasty, then you're good to go, kind of like this. So right, you just well, cut it into I bars and you do it. Well, you should well, try. I mean, it's good for us I mean, and wholesome. And yeah, I mean, you're going to go work out with the edge anyway. So well, what about gonna, um, if, you have happen. The, what if you have the convection item on your uh, option on your oven? Like, in, just in general, should we always use it for baking? Or I'm no? a huge fan of using convection, especially with something like this, because it's a bar cookie. It's kind of forgiving. Something you might want to tweak and try some things. If you have a really delicate cake, you don't want it to go over. Usually convection runs a lot hotter so get to know your oven and know what's happening so I would start with something like this and so try it and this see what happens. It's not so sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a little tart. It's mm -hmm. less sweet. Yeah. Kind and it I, breaks it up a little bit. It does too. break it yeah. up a little bit too. Yeah. It's crumbly. Be really yeah, I mean with, with chocolate with chocolate chips I thought oh, you were yeah. going to say. <laughs> I know you love well, chocolate chips with it. Chocolate chips yeah. would of course so, make anything good but yeah, I think always. this is really good in the morning mm -hmm. to set out Definitely. Yeah definitely for a little um you know ahead of time Thanksgiving. What's the number thing what's the number one thing you're making for Thanksgiving? People Thanksgiving pumpkin cheesecake usually. Pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah, I feel like people make their own pies sometimes. So pumpkin cheesecake, we make little mini pumpkin cheesecakes. 
You know, like that is cupcake delicious. size. So yeah, yeah. All kinds of Especially things. Especially if you're just all things pumpkin or just a chocolate cake. Sometimes people just want something chocolate, yeah. and they have a birthday for the holiday too. So they're trying to do you know double duty. Well, plus we just did a story in the news <laughs> yesterday that most people, a lot of people, don't like the sides of Thanksgiving. They don't really like pumpkin pie. But <laughs> right, they do it, it anyway. Oh right, God, they don't really like it. They have to. They don't like cranberry in the yeah. can, but they'll do it anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. So you know what? You can get mm -hmm. pumpkin cheesecake, and then you can be festive and yeah, maybe. whatever you want to do. Yeah. yeah. You know, the only thing missing from this, Kara, ice cream. No, it's a little whipped cream. Oh, just so you know, it's a good idea. Yeah. Scott keeps his own. Can you show everyone you put your name on it? Scott keeps really his own whipped can cream, of whipped cream. Is that really whipped cream? Well, it's, yeah. it's, it is. <laughs> All right. You're going to find a full label. menu yeah. of desserts. That's, and that's gluten-free as well. Okay. It is. Perfect. <laughs> you can get your cakes, your cookies, all of them. You can look at all the menu right mm -hmm. online yeah. at sweet-marias.com. The bakery is on Manor Avenue in the brass city of Waterbury. Have Delicious. a great day.